What's good homies and welcome back to another episode of our West Tigers Rebuild series. We're in season 2, ep episode 2, and it's the third round of the comp, and we're absolutely playing like trash at the moment. Our opponent for today are the New Zealand Warriors, as we take a quick look at the ladder, they're sitting just above us on the ladder here, with one win, or actually no wins, one draw and one loss. As for us, we're still in search for our first W. Alright, so before we get into the game, we have made a few changes, it's all in the forward pack, and before we go through the changes, uh, I'll just explain why I made these changes. I know I said I wanted to develop Twowell and Eisenhuff, I thought that maybe if I play off them, it'll help speed up the process, but unfortunately, they've been more of a liability than anything else. They will get a run in the future, but as of now, I'm looking to put together a stronger forward pack because it was clear that we lacked the go forward in our first two games. So, coming in for Twowell, we have Ben Matolino. Uh, he's coming off the bench to the starting spot, and we've brought Tim Grant to the bench. As for Eisenhuff, our skipper Elijah Taylor will go to lock, and Josh Aloyai will get the starting spot at second row. That left one more spot on the bench, and I decided to bring in Jamal Idris to play in the back row, and Sawaso Su will be used in the front row. Alright, let's get into this game, and I haven't really paid attention to the lineups until I'm in the editing process, so this will be a little interesting to see. They've got a new winger in Liam Law. Albert Kelly's in at 5'8", that's a good buy I reckon. They also managed to grab Asafa Solomona along with Tohu Harris, a new lock in Lance Kuveyu. As we look at their bench, uh, no one knew there, so there's been a couple of new buys. Not too sure how they could afford Albert Kelly along with all those new forwards. It's also weird to still see Manu there. I'm not sure if he left the Warriors before or after the game came out. But anyway, we're starting off with the Warriors in attack here. As Johnson gets it out of Atuve, oh! Steps around oh, one, yeah. steps around another, gets the off right away back to Sean Johnson, supporting on the inside, and he runs through an attempted ankle tap by uh, McCurick, I think that was, and Dan Tupo. We dove too early with Dan Tupo, didn't even get close to Johnson, but the Warriors are going to open up the scoring here, going up by four. Alright, so we're not going to take a look at the whole try, I just want to see the break again. As Matuwe steps around one, gets around Tui at the back, and that nice little flick offload to Johnson in support. It was actually a pretty dope, dope try. I hardly offload. I think I might start doing that more often. Or attempt to at least. Most of the time I'm late with it. And I end up passing it forward. As we jump back into the action with the Warriors. And it's two of us to check off the break. He's going to get wrapped up inside their 30. Or our 30. With Mannering running onto it. We rush up out of the line, and we end up creating a hole for Mannering to run through, as he gets the offload away back on the outside, and it's going to be Lillyman taking the tackle, just a few meters out. As they go back to this blind side through Kelly, it's smashed in the tackle. Fifth and last, Kelly in the ruck, so they go to Kuveu, puts it on the toe, and they get a little lucky there, as Nelson Asafa Solomona scores their second try of the game, off the grubber from their lock. As we take a look at the replay, and as you can see, it rebounds off the foot right into the breadbasket of Asafa Solomona as he scores their second try of the game. Back with Johnson from right in front to convert that easy kick, pushes them out to a 12 point lead. Alright, so it's our turn to attack. Outside their 10, we go to the left to Brooks, he goes to Nangama, gets it out to Nofu Oluma on the wing as we try and dive into the corner, but as you will see on the replay, we actually dove too early, and the ball rolled out of our hands before it made it to the line. As you will see there, I guess credit goes to the winger for the tackle. But we're going to be back in attack anyway, as we attack this uh, blind side. We shift it out to Tupo on the wing, it's going to get driven backwards in the tackle. Alright, so we have what looks to be a basic wrap to the left. Aloyai links up with Reynolds, and he delivers a beautiful short ball to McQueen, who bumps off two of us a check. Fends off another, he's going to get pulled down inside the 20, great impact from McQueen off the bench. On the 4th now as we go wide to Aloyai and then a beautiful slick inside ball, back inside to uh, Josh Reynolds. I think that might be his 3rd try of the season, I can't remember if he scored in round 1 but that was a pretty silky play that we pulled off. Back to back those random shapes pretty much, one of them created the line break and then this one. A beautiful inside ball, back to Reynolds for the try. We don't really pull off many set plays in the attacking zone, but when we do, man, it feels damn good when a play comes together. 
It's so much more satisfying scoring off uh, scoring off some slick passing instead of a sidestep or or a bump. But yeah, that's enough for that. Acting like I scored the match winning try off a set play or something. As we get the ball back here, a little bit of good fortune for us. We immediately try to shift it to one of our fast men. And Nangama gets around one, fends off another, and he's pulled down just outside the 10. As Packer takes it to the line, bumps off one, and he's just going to score under the post for a simple try. Our second try of the game off the back of a, a big hit, and I'm pretty sure it was Russell Packer who started it all. It was his tackle that got us the ball. Was the try replay worthy? Probably not, but we've got an interesting perspective here. A nice little close up as he grounds the ball for our second try of the game. Back off Lolo here to convert from right in front, and we're going to get within two points. Alright, so we're trailing by two at the break, and I just realized that I skipped over the penalty kick that they did take. That's my bad on that. At least it wasn't a try that I completely skipped over. But yeah, looking at these halftime stats, and uh, we're actually playing pretty terribly. Completed three from seven sets, made six errors, and conceded two penalties. I think most of those incompletions might be from big hits. As for the Warriors, they're doing alright. They've had slightly more ball than us. They've only made three errors, and they've conceded a penalty also. Back in the second half here with Tim Grant who makes a break and he's going to get pulled down just outside our 30. I've got to say it feels so much better to have decent players on the bench as we get another interesting shape to the left and I'm not too sure what to do here so we just pass it to Tui and he's going to take the tackle. Third tackle. As we go to Lawrence he goes to Brooks. Brooks links up with McQueen and it's going to be McQueen who gets around Tulvasashek. Races away for a well-deserved try as we take the lead. Another one of our recruits proving their worth. Not just that, our whole bench has been pretty solid like I said earlier. As we take another look at the replay and there was a fend that initially got him through the line. He fended off the PNG player, I forget his name but. We also get around Tuivasa Shek. Back with Lolo here once again from right in front as he adds the extras and gets us up by 4 points. Alright, 64th minute, 18 points to 14, and it's the Warriors in the attacking zone. It kind of feels like they haven't had the ball for a while. Johnson at first receiver, and they send it to Johnson, and we're going to give away a penalty. Matt McCurick with the high tackle. It turned out being a little bit of a blessing in disguise, because they're going to take the two points from right in front, Sean Johnson, to get them within two. I don't know why they didn't just attack our line. As he slots the penalty, gets them within two. I guess at the time there was plenty of time left. It was at the 65th minute and on the 77th, they give away a penalty of their own late in the set. We kick for the line and now we're back with Packer who takes it to the line and he gets double teamed inside their 10. So another interesting shape to the right. Once again, we run the same play outside, back inside and it's going to be McCurick who scores the final try of the game. Watching it back, it actually looked like it was the block play that was being run. And instead of going instead of going out the back, we actually used the first receiver. As we watch on the replay here, it was uh, Tim Grant who drew in two defenders. That's actually pretty realistic. The front rower drawing in defenders close to the line. And we sneak a ball back inside to McCurick. And he barely makes it just inside the, uh, the dead ball line there. Tui adds the extras here from right in front. He puts the cherry on top of what was a, uh, I'm not going to say a great performance. Although we did pull off some nice plays. It was a fairly scrappy first half. With our six errors, we only made one error in the second half. So I guess we redeemed ourselves in that aspect. As you just saw there, Isaac Luke was the one that picked up man of the match. So I ended up uh, checking out how he went for the day. Because I reckon he had a pretty quiet game. I then proceed to check out how our own team performed individually. I look at who made the most meters, uh, who made the most tackle bust, line breaks, just to see how I'd distribute my points if I were to vote. I'm not surprised that our bench players made the most meters, they were super impactful. One would say that they've earned a starting spot, but I'm going to keep them coming off the bench because I think they're more valuable that way. Yeah, but anyway, you can look through the stats yourselves, figure out who you'd give points to. As always, sure to charge that like button for more Rugby League Life 4 content. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll see you, 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 you. later.